Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. The other day on Facebook, somebody posted that they couldn't find the contour tool, but they also stated they just had the standard Corel Draw and not the graphic suite. I don't really know why Corel does this. I mean, I guess they sell it the standard for a less price, so they take some things off. And I just looked it up on the internet, and sure enough, Contour Tool is not included in Corel Draw Standard 2024, but probably all of them. Contour Tool is one of the kind of the best tools there is to do things. I can't imagine not having it. But let's just make a shape, and I'm going to show you how to make a contour of it. Hopefully, I can't seem to get the rectangle tool. Wow. Ha! Huh. There we go. Okay, we're just going to make a weird shape. And then I'm going to weld this together. Well, first of all, I'm going to do it two ways, but I think it's going to make the boundary tool. You're going to have a boundary tool. So there's the outline of your item. Now we're going to weld this and make a color shape. But we want a contour around there. And I think you could play around with it. So this is exactly the size of that. Well, go up to your, well, let's just use the pen tool. Go to F12 on your keyboard and let's make it a half inch. And right here in position, I always get confused which one's what, outside the outline. See how it made it bigger? Then say, okay, take that, go up to object, and convert the outline to an object, and then left click, right click, go up to object and break the curve apart. Get rid of the center one. Well, we've got the bigger one. Make it red to signify a cut line, and there's a contour. I'm pretty sure you could do any amount of contour off there. Um, you know, even since you, I don't know if this is going to work, you could hold down the shift key and bring it in. No, it's not going to work because it's going to bring it in at, at different speeds. But here's the original. I'll move it over just to make sure. Let's this time just go quarter of an inch. Hit F12 on your keyboard and put it to the, I don't ever use this that much. Outside it made it a little bit bigger. Go up to object, break the object apart, or make, convert the outline to an object, break the curve apart, left click, right click. And then we'll try to get this outer one and move it over. And we contour, I didn't break it apart. Uh, go up to object break the contour part and grab the outer one and look at that so now we've contoured a quarter of an inch and a half an inch or they're about i just maybe it's even less than that because we we made the line thicker if we go to parallel dimension tool no we made it yeah it's a quarter inch each time so this is the half inch so this is correct because we put it on the outside I was just sitting there reading that Facebook uh, question, and a lot of people tried to help her that uh, didn't realize that it. You know, they were going, "Well, do this, do that." Is your contour tool do that? And I just, I kind of remember the standard edition just didn't have it, and I'm almost for sure you could do any shape if you didn't have the boundary tool. Let's say you don't have the boundary tool which I can't imagine not having the boundary tool. You could always do this to get a boundary. Well, you don't have to do that. Just make a copy of that and send it over there and then left click, right click, and there's your boundary. And then you can just do the same thing. That won't help too many people that have Corel Draw graphic suites. But if you have Maybe even the student edition or the standard edition, it might help some people.
Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.